Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we're talking about object-oriented programming today, and in particular, we're going to talk about the overload operators in object-oriented programming in C++. Um, I have a videos or a set of videos out there on the code that I'm using right here, a box video. It's a simple class that illustrates a, a multi-level, multi-file compile. Uh, do a good search on Gatros and Box, and you should be able to see it in my YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm using that as my example. And to briefly explain what this um, uh, class does is it just simply draws an ASCII character box with a specific border and fill. All right, so let's go back to the main routine. Here I declare my box of type box, and it's going to be a size 5 with a border of a pound sign and a fill character of an asterisk. Box 2 is size 6 with a percent sign as a border and an at sign as the uh, fill character. And I print the summary out which prints the uh, size, the border, the fill, what the perimeter is, what's the area, and then it actually prints the box out. And that's basically the class. Very very simple little class. And again I've, I've explained this class in another another set of videos. So go, go look at those first and be familiar with it. Well now what I want to do is I want to add some overload operators to this. And I'm, this, uh, I'm going to take a few videos to do this and I'm going to cover uh, overload operators that are both part of and friend class of the of the class itself. So um, let's just go ahead and okay. Now the first thing I want to do is I, I want to do an assignment operator and um, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. And of course I haven't written it yet so it's going to look a little strange. It's going to get a syntax here. Let me declare a box, uh, my box 3 and it will use a default constructor. And then uh, before I, I do anything, what I say is, well I want to, uh, my box 3 to actually be a copy of my box 2. Well, it's going to give me uh, uh, an error, and, uh, and it's going to give me an error because I haven't defined that yet. There is no define. If I were to actually run the uh, compile routine, it says, hey, I really don't know what you're doing right here. Um, the assignment operator isn't defined for uh, values. Uh, so uh, what's going to happen? Well, how do I overload that operator? Well, this is going to be part of the class. All right. So it kind of looks like this. Let's go into box.h first. And I'm going to put it down here in its own area. And I'll actually, uh, um, uh, oops, edit undo here. Test. I'm actually going to put it in its own own area, and we'll just we'll just label them such. We'll just say um, overloads. We'll put them right here. All the overloads will go right here. So we just kind of group them together, so we can find them easy. And it starts off like this. Okay. The uh, assignment operator uh, is going to return a, something of type box, and it will return it by reference. Okay? So uh, then we say uh, operator, and then equal sign, and now we've got to tell it what parameter to pass into it. Okay? So it's going to be box uh, asterisk, and we'll call it B1. Okay? okay, so there we've defined it. Um, now we're going to make this part of the class. Now you know it's part of the class because in a binary operation, this is a binary, it requires two parameters. If it's part of the class, it only has one parameter. The thing to the right of the uh, equal sign, the assignment operator, will be the, uh, the source of the copy and the thing on the left hand side will be the target of it. Now let's go in and define this in our box.h file. And we'll go within, we'll do down here, we'll go all the way down, and we'll put all of our uh, all of our uh, overload operators down here, where everything is at. We'll, we'll just kind of label that. Overloads. There we go. Now we'll define it. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to return a type box. It'll be a reference. 
and we want it to have access to the class and we want to make it part of the class so we say box colon colon we use the scope resolution operator and then we say operator equals and everything's starting to look pretty good right here uh, equals operator equals and then box b1 okay now then let's write the code okay what's that code like well what we want to do is we want to give the size of our current object and this thing to the left of the operator the size from the parameter that was passed one in dot size okay then we want to give the border the value of the one that was passed in and then we want to give the uh, fill character oops let me put the cursor right there fill character a copy of the one that was passed in all right and now the secret here is since we're returning a box reference okay we've got to send that address back of the object and we say return asterisk this pointer and that returns this current object the thing on the left hand the size of the border fill back to and assigns it to that thing on the other side of the of the equal sign let's go back to our main routine here and right there and what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, my my box three dot summary and we're going to make sure that it looks exactly like my box number two well, let's go ahead and build that okay. build build the project everything looks pretty good all right let's run it and we're going to run it and there we have okay there should be two size sixes and there certainly are there's the first one the size five there's a size six and there's the size six and what it did was it gave a copy of box two to box three well that gets you started on uh, assignment operator and that's a that's a very very good example of um, one that is actually uh, part of the class itself <coughs> um, let me go ahead and do two others and um, I'll continue these on in, in subsequent videos but the other ones that are very very handy to have are the increment and decrement operators alright so what we would like here is we would like to be able to before we print these out we would like to be able to say mm, my box one we're going to add one to it okay and my box say plus plus my box two add two to that and we'd like to increase them okay so we should have six seven and six come out but we see that those aren't defined yet well let's go define them let's see what they're like again they're going to be a part of the class itself uh, so uh, they only have uh, they don't have any parameters at all since it's a unary operator we're going to be working with the object itself so we say uh, for the um, increment operators we say box and this is the uh, prefix version uh, and sign and then operator plus plus and then that and we'll put the little comment out there that's a, a prefix version and now we'll do the postfix version that looks a little bit different and I want to explain both of them to you box operator plus plus int x okay now you're going to notice that postfix version let me finish you're going to notice that in the prefix version we're passing it back as a reference and there are no parameters you'll also notice too that in the postfix version there is no reference right here we're not passing it back by reference we're passing it back by value and we're passing in a parameter okay in the prefix version we we want to pass it back by reference because in the prefix version um, the operation has to be completed before it's used inside of another statement so the actual item itself has to be changed in the postfix version it's done after the uh, statement that it's embedded in so you just need a copy of it you'll also notice too this uh, uh, parameter right here is there for one reason and one reason only and that is to distinguish it from the prefix version uh, the parameter is not used All right, now then let's go write uh, these operations very very simple in this particular situation we're going to go down to the bottom here okay and we're going to say um, uh, box in other words, we 
going to return a box reference. Okay, it is part of the um, it is part of the uh, uh, class operator plus plus. There we go. Okay, and in this particular case, all we do is call grow, and it adds one to it automatically. Now then, let's write the postfix version of it. Okay, box. There is no return reference. Box colon colon operator and then we pass in int x and again remember we don't use that anywhere and we do the same thing we just say grow right there okay. <coughs> let me put the uh, plus plus in there right there and everything's okay that looks good let's go back to our main routine and, and those the errors have gone away let's go ahead and build that Build that. Everything looks building. Let's run it, and it should see um, that seven. Okay, the first one should be six, then seven, and then six again, and that's exactly what we wanted. Now I I will do. I'll go ahead and put in the um, uh, right in the uh, minus minus. They work exactly the same way. So once you've done one, you've done the other. You say box uh, again the pre-increment version of it is uh, operator that's minus minus and that is the prefix version and then uh, box no no ampersand operator minus minus oh, oops gotta put in the int x int x and that is that is the postfix version and I will leave it up to you to uh, uh, write that code. It's a good little practice. Now uh, the next uh, part of this video is uh, I want to go into uh, defining friends, um, friend, uh, friend uh, member functions as part of the uh, as part of the class and it's a little bit different way to do it and we'll also do uh, uh, an OStream output operator so the next video is, uh, is uh, very very handy to have. Anyway uh, again um, go back in and look at the box class that I did on my previous videos and uh, if you like this video and you found it useful press like and subscribe to my channel uh, have a good day